Hello, hello, Crafty Mandis here, and welcome back to another episode of the Realm of Vastin. So, in the last episode, we ended up building the Adventurers Guild, which is behind this Church of the N. And today, we are going to be working on the landscaping for this area. So, as you can see, I've already got a couple of logs just kind of, you know, sitting around. And then I worked a little bit on just this one path, and then I've got the other one kind of, um, kind of laid out. But yeah, so we've got some trees that I want to put in here. And then back here, we've got a nice little potato patch. So for those that are going to be, you know, working over here, they actually do have a source of food. And um, I'm starting to collect up the potatoes and stuff. And then what I want to do is I kind of want to put a little, like, cooking area over here. So that, you know, we could cook up the potatoes and, you know, everybody can can get fed while they are over here. And so, yeah, so we've got, you know, lots of trees that I want to put in here. And then, as you can see, we've got the pathway. And so, the thought behind this path is that, you know, people are going to be coming this way. And then, if they want to go to the church, you know, they're going to follow the path kind of like that. And then, from the church to the Adventurers Guild. And then, from the road to the Adventurers Guild. So, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of how, you know, how I kind of envisioned how this would get set up. And so um, I want to do a three wide path. So let's see if I can actually sleep real quick. Nope, not yet. Um, but yeah, so I want to do a three wide path. And I'm thinking like this one, because of the location of the tree, I'm thinking right there would be a good start for it. So let's go ahead and get our sleep on and get this path laid out. And so what I'm thinking is kind of something, you know, something along these lines. So let's go ahead and I think this kind of worked out with the way that I had originally set up the path. And so there we go. Okay. So yeah, so that definitely that definitely works. Um, though it's looking like we probably Yeah, there we go. Okay. So so as people, you know, as people are coming, you know, the natural pathway is to, you know, actually come, you know, come along this way. And then we've got this path here. So let's kind of get this in place as well. And, okay, almost there. And, okay, sweet. So that one, that one definitely works. And then this one, I'm thinking, let's do, okay, this one is ending up a little bit straight. So let's kind of move that one over. And then, okay, I might need to move that tree. Yeah, this one is definitely a lot straighter than the other one. Um, maybe we'll do this. And then, kind of like that. There we go. Okay, so that works. And so what I probably want to do then is let's move the tree right here. And so that kind of makes sense as to why, you know, they come kind of around. And then this one's a little too close to the path now. And so let's put this one right there. Okay, so there we go. I think that definitely, that definitely works. And one of the things I wanted to do on camera with you guys was one of these trees. And then I can get back and do the other trees off camera. So let's go ahead and do this one. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. And then let's see, let's go ahead and we're going to come out this way. Go ahead and get rid of those. And then with this one, let's come out like that. And then I'm thinking this one, I want to kind of do as a straight limb. So let's do that, do that, and then out one more. And then this one, let's do straight like that. And then let's go up one like that. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I'm liking that. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over to our leaves and I can kind of show you guys how it is that I do my trees. We'll go ahead and get the ones up here on top. And basically what I do is I go through, I kind of lay out some branches. Oh, and that one actually ended up too tall there. I lay out some branches and then I go through and I cover up 
I cover up all of the branches. And so that'll give like a general shape of what the tree will be. All right, I think we're good on that. So let's go ahead and finish covering these up here. And okay, there we go. And yep. And yeah, so that is um, just the, the general shape of the tree. It doesn't, it definitely doesn't look like much right now, but what, um, what I now do is I go through and I kind of flush it out. So let's go ahead and get these two on, you know, on the hot bar and the top definitely needs some TLC. So let's, oop, okay. Well, that didn't work, did it? All right. Um, oh, I just went up and over. Well, that kind of works out. There we go. Now I'm in the tree. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's bring this one out. Let's take that one. And then let's see. We kind of want to round this shape out a little bit. And so I'm thinking let's bring this out. And so basically what I do is I just kind of go through and create the shape that I'm looking for. And I leave gaps in it because if you actually look at a tree, it is not like full on, you know, full on leaves. There are sections that you can actually um, look at, you know, look through and see the sky. And so that's kind of, you know, that's kind of what I try to do with, you know, with my actual, um, with my trees that I do in Minecraft. And so let's do, let's do that and then maybe bring this one up like that. And let's see, let's go ahead and bring that out like that. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've got a raiding party and I didn't even notice. Oh my goodness. All right, so with this one, let's go ahead and fill in some of these. And then, so I've got a raiding party as well as an endermite sitting over there. All right, there we go. Okay, so, um, hmm. All right. Um, I guess let's um, let's go on the roof, and that way I can kind of look at it this way. But yeah, so that's that's kind of what I do in terms of you know like actually filling in the trees. There definitely needs to be a little bit more height on here, and I need to fix the stuff on the bottom here. So I am going to continue working on that, and I'm going to also deal with um, those lovely guys and the endermite, and then also get these other trees in. And we can move on to some of the, you know, some of the other, the other stuff for the landscaping. All right. So I have all of the trees now in place. And as you can see, I did some of the, you know, some of the regular, you know, the regular size trees and I, I wanted to make them a little messy. And so that's, you know, uh, that's, 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 that's what I did. So they're definitely not manicured trees. They've got, you know, kind of limbs kind of going all over the place. And, you know, the, yeah, definitely, you know, definitely really like that. They it, they are definitely full of character. And then on top of that, I ended up using these. So these are end stone bricks. Um, in this texture pack, they are oak wood. And they make really, really cool small trees. And so that is what I did throughout here. So some of them are three. And then we've got some, you know, some fours as well. And so, you know, the, the final one is in between these bottom leaves here. And so with those ones, I just, whoop, tree, um, <laughs> hi. Um, yeah, I just ended up doing the, uh, the normal, you know, ones, you know, the same toppers for these ones. And then these ones are all, the big ones are all different. So we've got trees that go all the way around. And so they, you know, they go in different sections. Now there's no trees here because there's actually, I actually want to put a wagon here, um, you know, so that, you know, people can cart away the, the potatoes and stuff, but we've got, and then this, I have plans. We will get to that momentarily, but yeah, so we got all of these. And then I also got a little, you know, a little section of trees over here as well. So that is, you know, that is the trees all done. So the next thing I want to do is actually to create the little thing for the smoker. And okay, so let's go ahead and grab these. We need this as well. And we need the smoker. And so what I want to do, I'm thinking, let's see, it's going to be three wide, but I want to leave enough room for, in fact, I'm thinking we are going to, ah, uh, too close to the tree, too close to the tree. So 
it's going to it's going to be partially blocking the window, but that is going to be all right. So I want to do that. And then let's go ahead and build that like that. And then we're going to put the smoker right there. And then bring this around and then we're going to do an upside down stair here. And then stair stair bleh, falling in stair. Okay, sweet. So we are still going to clear. All right, awesome. Yeah, I was I was kind of afraid that I was going to end up hitting this. But luckily, we are just going to clear it. And that is going to work out just fine. So let's go ahead and put our trap doors up around here. And oh, can, I, can, I, can I do it? Okay, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of that brick. And then we want to grab the campfire. Can it? Oh, there we go. Ha ha. All right, there we go. So we've got, you know, a little smoker back here and then I want to make, I'm going to need to make some more barrels. Um, I didn't have any. Um, and so I need to make some more of those, but yeah, I think this is going to work. I might still, you know, I'm still going to think about it. I might move this away just, you know, one more just so that we are a little bit further away from that. But I'm thinking that, yeah, that definitely fits this little area. And then, so people can end up putting in the potatoes and yeah, so we're going to need a barrel for coal and a barrel for potato, or probably several p barrels for potatoes. Cause yeah, this one's, this one's already starting to get filled up and I've only, I think I've har harvested this three times. So yeah, so that definitely, that definitely works out. So the next step in terms of getting this area all done is actually this right here. And we go bloop. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to get rid of any of the too tall and just kind of, you know, going through and adding in grass throughout the area and then you know come back and actually add in you know a little bit you know a little bit of detail and stuff here in between you know like uh berry bushes and then maybe some little life spots and stuff like that so i am going to get to uh, bone mealing this entire area and then um, i'll bring you guys back so we can put on the final touches all right so i noticed that the my my recording time so far getting a little bit, um, a little bit long. And so I went ahead and I finished this area up. So as you can see, we got little pops of purple all over the place. So we've got, you know, the berry bushes, which are purple in this texture pack. And then we've got these, which are alliums, which are lavenders in this texture pack. So I thought the purple would go really well because we've got the church at the end here. And so the purple really goes, you know, goes well with it. And then I also, um, I ended up adding in this little picnic area. So we've got a little picnic, you know, blanket thingy. And then these kind of look like baskets to me. Granted, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have a handle. But I thought this definitely, you know, this definitely works. So we've got, you know, a little basket and then, uh, you know, a picnic blanket. And, you know, all just little, little pops of purple throughout here. And so let's go ahead and head over here because I ended up adding in the wagon. So it's just, you know, just a small little wagon. <laughs> um, kind of, you know, kind of cute and min bleh, bleh, into a bush. Um, miniature. But we've got, you know, the, the, uh, can I? Nope, I can't. Okay. Uh, trap door it is. There we go. But yeah, so we've got a chest. We've got two of the barrels and then another one of the compost bins. In fact, do I have anything I can... Uh, let's do blip, blip, blip. Oh, wow. That did not get me anything. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Let's use some of these. Let's get this. Um, wow. There we go. Okay. I don't want to get it to completely full, but there we go. Um, but yeah, so this is just, you know, just a little wagon that way, you know, they can load up the, the potatoes and it looks like I need to harvest these guys again. Um, and then, you know, we've got the, you know, lots of little bits of purple just kind of, just kind of scattered about just to add just that little pop of color to kind of draw your eye as you're, you know, as you're walking by. And then the last thing I want to show you is this. So I went ahead and added in some barrels. So we got one for regular, you know, just uncooked potatoes. We've got cooked potatoes here and coal. And then I'll probably use the one back here for uh, for regular potatoes as well, since it's the um, it's the same thing. So we got two apple barrels. So the, the apple barrels or the potato barrels? Uh, don't yeah, don't ask me. 
But yeah, and I did move this. I moved this forward one, and then I also added in an acacia trap door here, and then the acacia trap doors up here to kind of create a shelf. So a little bit of shelter. So, you know, in case it decides to start raining, they could still be here, you know, at the, you know, at the smoker cooking up their potatoes and stuff. So, yeah, so this is, you know, this has definitely turned out um, a lot, a lot better than um, I had originally anticipated. I didn't, outside of the buildings, I didn't really have, you know, I didn't really have a plan for, you know, for this area. So I'm definitely really happy with, you know, with the way that this ended up coming out. So I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.